Hello friends, my name is Vineet Arora and you are watching Azure DevOps series. So in this session, we are going to cover that how we can deploy the build artifact to our app service. Build artifact means the build. The build that has been created from the code that we have got from the repositories code. Right. So till now we have seen that how to create repository and after creating the repository, how to do the build via the build pipeline. We have also seen that how to create a service connection. Let me reiterate that what is service connection. Service connection is a connection between the Azure DevOps and Azure portal. Because both are two different application and we need to have a link and that link is provided with the help of service connection. If you want to know that how we can create service connection, I will paste the link in description section as well as as you can find the same from the I section on the top. Right. So uh, now till now we have got the artifact produced by the build pipeline and we will deploy that we will deploy those to the app service. We have created this app service into the our Azure portal. Right. Let me. So now let me go to the Azure portal and DevOps. Yes, so now I am in the Azure DevOps section and here is the pipeline that we have seen. I have already created and demonstrated you. So yes, we have run this. So let's go to the release section. We have no releases pipeline, right? So we have basically we are the two part when the build pipe part and in one is the deploy part. Build part is called the CI continuous integration and we have the deployment part that is called release is the continuous integration. And let me tell you about the portal as well. Uh, demo. So this is the web service app service that I have created in Azure portal and that can be accessed via this link. This is the recently created app service. So you can see that there is no content here and this is running with the default page. So we will run this. We will deploy this application. Let me tell you that how our application will look when it will be hosted here. So I have opened my application in my Azure in my Visual Studio and I'm just running it on my local machine so that you can know that how it will look like on the Azure portal or Azure App services. OK, so as you can see that this application is running on my local machine on this port and this will look like this, right? So if you are looking to have this code, I have already deployed this. I have already uh, provided this on a GitHub repository and that can be accessed via this link. So this is the code. So what do you need to do? First of all, with the help of this code, you need to create the build artifacts and with the help of build artifact, we will deploy this, right? So let's proceed. So what I will do, I will create a new pipeline. That is a this section release pipeline. Right. Let me create a new pipeline. One more thing. Let just let me tell you before creating this. Uh, inside the pipeline, as I have already shown you, this pipeline is producing artifacts. Which artifact? Build artifacts. The binaries, right? And and that has been done with the help of publish artifact. That publish artifact will deploy into the this particular path. Okay. Uh, now let's move the lease new pipeline. Okay. Now as you will click on the new pipeline, it will ask us that what is the template you are looking for, right? Because here we are going to deploy into the Azure app service. So this is the first defaulting that we can get from this list. So we will choose this that we are going to deploy into the Azure app service, right? I will click on apply. Now what I will do, I can provide a name of it. By default, it is coming as a stage, but I can give it any name. So let me give as a development stage or dollar. Development, right? Or we can give a short name as well. So this is a dev stage. Okay. So now what I will do, I need to add the artifacts. To add the artifact, I will click here. It will ask us that from where we are, you are looking to have the artifacts. So the first link, the default link is coming as a build. So what we will do, we will provide the 
from where we are looking to artifact so here you will get the pipeline build pipeline right list of build pipeline so i have only this pipeline build pipeline which is producing artifacts so i can select only this one now what it will do it will basically ask uh, what is the default version so we will choose the default version the latest version means the artifact which has been produced by this particular pipeline please select that the latest artifact right and it is the source alias let it as it is basically this is the artifact name that we can provide here okay let me click on add now what we will do now it's the time to add the jobs we'll click here basically now we are in the stage of dev and here we need to provide the subscription as your subscription so basically we are in need to provide the link link between azure devops and azure portal as i have already shown you in my previous video that how to create a service connection and i have already created that so i am going to select that i can choose any one the automatic or manual okay now what it will do it will basically list all the services which are available with respect to this service connection or with respect to azure portal for which we have created a this service connection so now it is providing this app service that i have created and we will select this okay now as a next step we will click on deploy azure app service right this task this is the task so what i need to do i need to give the package or folder which i need to deploy so i will click here so this is the artifact that has been produced by our pipeline so i will click here and here you will see the folder named as drop right and i will click here further i will get one more drop folder so here i have the published websites and here is the website that has been produced as a artifact right so we need to see that where is the, our build artifact we need to select that we will click we will select it and we will click okay now what i need to do i need to do just save it now right so let me save it okay so this has been saved now i was talking you about the continuous integration and continuous deployment so i will tell you about that let me refresh this page i will click on create release so this is what it will do it will basically do the deployment so here we will choose the stage i will click on it and now i will simply click on create button right so what it is stating it is stating that a release has been queued we'll click here and here we need to deploy it so we will click on deploy button let me tell you i have not integrated it till yet i have not integrated that means as the build pipeline will produce the artifact i have not integrated i have not triggered automatically the release pipeline till yet as of now i have just created this release pipeline which is without linking of this so that's why i am creating the manual deployment right i am clicking here that's why the deploy button but anyway i will also show you that how we will trigger it automatically once we will have the artifacts right okay so now let it deploy so it is in progress we can also see the logs from here as well if you want so we'll click here then it will show the complete log that what is happening right so as we can see from the log that it has been deployed successfully deployed web package to app service right so this is still doing some work but let it complete we can directly go to the release section and let it be as it is so once it will complete it will show us the green button so yes now we can see that the green check mark so this means this particular stage has been succeeded now what we will do we will check that how is that has been deployed or not so what we will do we will go to our website this is our website and we will simply press a fresh button so now you can see the, the default content let me click on the fresh button so for the first time it may take some time okay so now you can see that that particular application has been deployed successfully 
and we are able to see the content. So this is the same content that I was showing you on my local machine. This one and this one. So now this has been deployed. Okay. Now let's talk about the integration that I was talking about. Okay. So what I will do, I will go to the releases section once again and here I will edit it. Edit it. So you can see this is a trigger part, right? This, what it does it mean? It means when this particular pipeline will be automatically triggered. So this particular pipeline means continuous deployment where it will happen if we will enable it and it will enable it means as we will get the artifact from our build pipeline. From here, as you will get the artifact from build pipeline, this will get automatically triggered and this will automatically deploy. Right? So what I will do, I will simply click it and I will save it. Now our trigger is ready. That can be known via this link. Right? So what I will do, I will go to the pipeline. This is a build pipeline and I am producing, I am producing the new artifact once again. I will run it. So now you can see my build pipeline is running. That means this is running. This is fetching the code from the repository. And then this is producing the artifact. And once it will produce the artifact, this will be automatically triggered. So now build has been completed and it is pushing the artifact to pushing the build artifact, right? So let me just show you the releases section. So till now you are not getting any new release. This is the release that we have seen earlier that I have done manually. So now what you can see, you can see that now we have a new release and how it has been, how we have got it. We have got it automatically from once it has been completed, right? So we have got the artifact from here and this has been automatically triggered and it is running. I have not done anything yet. So this is the continuous integration. This is integrated with this integrated with our CI continuous integration means build build artifacts. So it has been continuously integrated with this. So once it will produce the artifact, it will got triggered. So this has happened and it is deploying, right? So again, it will take some time as so now, yeah, this has done. So release two has been completed. So this was about the releases. Okay. So let me just reiterate here what we have done. We have created the artifact. We have get the artifact from the build pipeline. And once we will, we have integrated it with that particular one. So we just need to enable it. And then we need to trigger it here. Basically when we are going to do this will be, this will be automatically after release. Once we'll get the artifact, this will, this will run, right? So let me tell you, we can have, so this was the one stage. We can have n number of stages here. So I, why I have given the name as dev, so you can assume that as a first part, we had deployed to the development environment. We can have one more app service that is for the production or for the UAT or for the QA, depending upon your strategy, how your project is going on. So we can have one more stage. Or, so what we will do, we will simply clone it in that case and we can rename that something like QA right and this will be similar to this and what we need to do we will need to do just similar go here and we need to simply update the app service so here instead of choosing the app service for the development we will choose a different app service so this will be deployed to the different environment right and we can have trigger here i'm not going to tell all these things now because you may get confused so just function just focus on this part Right. Let me delete this. So just focus on this part that how we will uh, create the stage and how we will integrate it. We can have more artifact here. We can deploy the multiple artifact here as well. Right. So we will cover those all those sections in our later stage in our, in our next videos. So this was about the release pipeline. OK, so I'm done. Let me just request you that if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please like. Thank you.